Hi everyone, it's me, Persephone Astrology. How are you? I hope you're all well. So I'm just here to drop in some info about a couple of aspects that we have going on in February. Um, it's been a while since I've done any kind of transit aspect horoscope um, info. So I thought I would treat you guys for Valentine's Day and this is not only going to pertain to love and romance, okay? It's going to be other areas um, that this can affect, also depending on your birth chart. But um, I just wanted to also let you guys know that I am giving away 50% of all of the profits for my private readings for February, okay, to Refuge Charity, that is a charity that protects women and children from domestic abuse, so if you've been thinking about getting a reading, do it during the month of February um, to have a donation to charity involved, anyway, um, yeah, my website is in the description box below, anyway, um, let me let me just get started on explaining the aspects that we have this month for you guys. How did you guys find that full moon, by the way, on the 5th? Um, Leo full moon, and it was aspect Uranus, and I felt that Uranus, um, you know, there were some bolts out of the blue going on around me. I was like, oh, okay, that's that little Uranus influence. So how did you guys find that full moon? Let me know. Um, we have an aspect coming up, which is a lovely aspect and is very romantic. Um, one of my faves, and it is Venus conjunct Neptune in Pisces. And this is going to be really nice, okay? So this is coming up on the 15th. You'll be feeling the influence on Valentine's Day. Um, Venus is the planet that represents our pleasures, romance, our love life, what we enjoy. And Neptune is the planet that represents imagination, um, creativity, um, poetry, okay, and illusions, and fantasy, actually. So when these two come together, it can be like you're in a little pink fluffy cloud bubble of love, okay? And it doesn't only have to be for romance, you know, if you're single, you can still experience this through um, Venus representing the aesthetic arts, the visual arts, and Neptune representing the feeling arts, i.e. music and performance. So when these two come together, especially if you're a creative, you can make something really special on this day because you're going to be feeling that influence. Whatever you're doing around this time, you're going to be feeling that influence of inspiration, um, divine, visual, aesthetic. The creativity is going to be flowing and there's going to be a lot of romance and fantasy in the air for you to make use of, okay? So you can also use this to create a very romantic, imaginative, beautiful date with your loved one, okay? So this is a time of fantasy, and also there's a flip side, there's a flip side to fantasy, and that is that sometimes we can attach fantasy onto situations that are not fantastical <laughs> um, in order to cope with the situation at hand because this is where you can fall into a trap with it. Now, we are going to get a dose of reality in February as well. You also want to take note of um, the, the houses that these exact degrees of these conjunctions fall into okay and if you get my personal horoscopes you can get this treatment so have a look on my website below you'll see i do special deals for um subscribers okay so you can subscribe to my personal horoscopes if you want to know how this is going to affect what area of your chart this is going to show up in for you personally however in general 
We are going to then get a dose of reality, okay? Because we have the yearly conjunction between the sun and Saturn, okay? So um, the sun and Saturn are meeting up in Aquarius. So Aquarius is very much... The, uh, the, pattern, the patterns of belief that we all hold and being able to break out of it. So when the sun, our identity, our ego, how we present to the world, outwardly, okay, our yang side, when this connects to Saturn, which is restriction, limitations of the 3D world, Okay, how the physical world it really is, the reality of things and how that drags us back down into this experience. When those two meet up in Aquarius, okay, that's going to show up a lot of the repetitive patterns and mindsets that we do have, which need to be broken out of. So any way that you've been fooling yourself or creating a fantasy for yourself in any area where, wherever this may fall in your chart, okay, you've got to bear in mind where both of these aspects fall in your chart, um, you're going to have a chance to create more stability for yourself, you're going to have a chance to see things from a more mature and structured um, mindset that benefits you in the physical 3D, okay, so we have these two di very different differing energies going on this month, okay, we have the um, beautiful, mysterious, romantic, sexy illusion, and then we're going to have reality come, come crashing down, okay, and reality, reality is going to hit us, okay, so um, it's time for us to blend the... Um, are the beauty of our imagination with um, what's really occurring in reality. And when we blend these two things together, our, naturally our love lives are going to improve. The way that we view others are going to improve. You can still have empathy and compassion for other people um, while still benefiting yourself, okay? The Sun and Saturn are both very goal-orientated and it's very much, um, you know, working to achieve things and how how we work on ourselves and how we um how we focus in on ourselves okay so there's going to be um a seesaw and a balance taking place that you need to be mindful of in regards to um the dream the fantasy and the harsh truths of reality and when I talk about truth in reality right especially with this being Aquarius because Aquarius is very open-minded and Aquarius rules um having a higher mindset so what we need to also keep in mind right there's a there's a lot of things in our culture in our 3d world the current climate of today that are only upheld by our belief in them okay and you can work out what they are for yourselves there's a lot of programs that we're all under and when you're not aware of what they are you really think this is the cold hard facts of reality but really reality is flexible okay reality is flexible and in a lot of ways reality does reflect how you feel about it and how you think about it so you making inner changes about how you think and feel about certain things can enable you to then be in the mindset where you you can and do change your circumstances okay so that's that's going to be the theme of this month okay so <laughs> And then we have the new moon in Pisces. Don't even get me started on that. I absolutely love a moon in Pisces. Oh, it's just so um, beautiful and flowing and romantic. And that's where you can kickstart your, your dreams with your imagination is when we then have the new moon in Pisces, okay? But for now, keep in mind that is going to be... February is a flowing month as well, okay? February is a flowing month because there's no retrogrades. Okay, so the energy is finally moving forward after we had a very slow start to this quote unquote year. Um, and so the energy is really starting to move now. 
okay since we had saint bridget's day um on uh, february the first that is when that that signals the end of the winter basically so the new year really did start within the dead of winter nothing moved forward nothing's happened we had a couple of retrogrades to contend with and now we can finally feel okay there's a new start there's a fresh start energy is moving forward okay so you guys enjoy valentine's day enjoy the month of february in general make sure you are utilizing the um creative energy especially if you are into uh, music arts anything creative can be definitely be favored around this time and then when the sun saturn conjunction hits there can be a very good opportunity for you to bring it in to manifest in the 3d reality okay and make it work for you even selling selling your selling whatever you've made that will be a good time to do that as well okay so um yeah Talk to you guys soon. If you would like a reading by me, my website is in the description box below. Bye.